My child, I can totally feel the weight of what you're going through. Dealing with these cognitive changes and not having the support you need. That's rough. It's like staring at a mountain, right? But here's the twist. In the middle of all this, there's this intriguing thing coming your way, a proposal. A chance at marriage. And guess what? It's not just your average proposal. It's got a condition tagged along. That's enough to make anyone feel like they're on a roller coaster of emotions, from jumping with excitement to feeling a tad nervous. This condition? It might look like a big hurdle, demanding something from you. Maybe it's a test to see how ready you are, how strong you can be, or how open-hearted you can stay. Here's the kicker though. Hidden in these conditions are opportunities, chances for growth that can help you understand yourself and others better. Sometimes it's like a nudge to embrace change or to show yourself how strong you really are. Listen to that gut feeling. It's often nudging you in the right direction for your soul's journey. Even with this condition, the magic lies in what this proposal holds. It's a sign that someone despite everything, sees your true value and wants to walk this journey with you. So, think about it with an open heart. If it vibes with your inner truth, maybe consider it a step towards something beautiful. The universe has this habit of wrapping up big lessons in the most unexpected packages. You know, it's like planting seeds for new beginnings and personal growth. Let this proposal with its condition, be the spark that ignites your inner journey, guiding you toward more wisdom and a sense of peace. If you clicked on this video today, your guardian angels have a very particular message for you. As divine messengers, we are here to guide you through the twists and turns of your earthly journey, offering insights and revelations that may shape the course of your destiny. Today, our celestial whispers carry with them a message of love, union, and a profound choice that awaits you. In the ethereal realms where time is but a fleeting concept, the cosmic energies have aligned to bring forth a revelation, an announcement that transcends the boundaries of the ordinary. There is someone destined to enter your life, to intertwine their fate with yours, but not without a condition a condition that will test the depths of your courage, the expanses of your heart, and the resilience of your soul. Close your eyes for a moment and envision a tapestry woven with threads of fate, each strand connecting the moments of your past, present, and future. Now, in this cosmic theater, a new character steps onto the stage, ready to play a significant role in the unfolding drama of your life. This is the one who carries the key to the next chapter of your existence, a key that turns with a single condition. The angels want you to know that love, in its purest form, is both a delicate melody and a powerful symphony. It requires harmony, understanding, and a willingness to dance through the rhythm of life together. But this destined union comes with a unique stipulation, a condition that beckons you to reflect upon the essence of your being and the depths of your commitment. Imagine standing at the crossroads of destiny, where the path diverges into two distinct routes. One is familiar, the well-trodden path of routine and comfort. The other is shrouded in the mist of uncertainty, promising adventure, growth, and a love that transcends the ordinary. The condition presented to you is not a roadblock, but a cosmic signpost, urging you to choose the path less traveled, where profound transformation and extraordinary love await. The angels urge you to consider this condition not as an imposition but as an invitation, an invitation to explore the uncharted territories of your heart and soul. It is a call to delve into the depths of your convictions, to question the boundaries you have set for yourself, and to embrace the vulnerability that comes with stepping into the unknown. Now, let us elucidate the condition that accompanies this divine message. 
The celestial realm reveals that the one destined to marry you comes with a request, a request that may initially seem unconventional but holds the potential to elevate your connection to unparalleled heights. This person asks for your commitment to personal growth, a mutual pledge to support each other's journeys of self-discovery, and an unwavering dedication to evolving together. It's not a demand for perfection but an acknowledgement that both of you are a work in progress. The condition is an agreement to foster an environment where each partner is encouraged to pursue their passions, dreams, and spiritual evolution. It's a commitment to stand side by side, facing the world together, embracing the challenges, and celebrating the victories as a united force. As the angels deliver this message, they want you to understand that this condition is not meant to instill fear or doubt but to inspire courage and self-reflection. Take a moment to contemplate your desires, your dreams, and the person you aspire to become. Can you envision a future where both you and your destined partner grow, flourish, and become the best versions of yourselves together? This divine revelation invites you to envision a marriage that transcends societal norms and expectations. It encourages you to co-create a love story that is uniquely yours, a narrative that unfolds with the richness of shared experiences, mutual growth, and an unbreakable bond forged in the fires of life's challenges. The angels want you to know that this condition is a gift, a sacred opportunity to co-author a love story that defies the conventional and blossoms into a masterpiece of unity, understanding, and unwavering support. It's a chance to embark on a journey where love becomes a catalyst for personal and collective evolution, a force that propels you both toward the fulfillment of your highest destinies. As you stand at the threshold of this profound revelation, consider the depths of your own heart. Are you ready to embrace this condition with open arms, to embark on a journey of mutual growth and boundless love? The angels encourage you to trust in the divine timing of this message and to approach it with an open heart, free from the constraints of fear or doubt. In the comments section below, share your thoughts, feelings, and reflections on this celestial message. How does the idea of a marriage built on the condition of mutual growth resonate with you? What emotions does this revelation evoke, and are you ready to embrace the cosmic invitation extended to you? Remember, dear soul, you are not alone on this journey. The angels surround you with love and guidance, ready to assist you as you navigate the intricate dance of destiny. Embrace the wisdom of the divine message, and may your path be illuminated with the light of love, growth, and profound connection. I declare this will be a week of congratulations, financial breakthroughs, and great health. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. God is saying to you today, great blessings are about to enter into your life because you have believed for so long. You never gave up, you remained faithful. Your dedication, passion, and patience are about to pay off in a major way. Everything is about to make sense. Type 777 if you already believe. The next three days will bring a flood of blessings, miracles, and breakthroughs that will leave you awestruck. You will witness a supernatural shift in every aspect of your life, from your job and finances to your health and relationships. Expect unexpected blessings and an outpouring of love and abundance of everything good. December and January are your months of happiness, and you can expect to receive magnificent miracles, unexpected blessings, and a double dose of joy and happiness. Type 222 if you believe. Jesus says, I have opened a door for you that no one can shut, and nothing can stop the divine plan that has been set in motion for your life. In a world that can be tough, God is your refuge and strength, a present help in times of trouble. Before this week comes to an end, 
your life will be overflowing with so many blessings that all your worries will disappear. The Lord is sending people, resources, and finances your way that you never thought possible, and He has assigned angels to protect and guide you and your loved ones. Type 333 if you trust angels. Without faith, it is impossible to please God, and those who seek Him will be rewarded. The Lord is transforming your life right now, turning your sorrows into joy and your poverty into wealth. If Daniel could trust God in the lion's den, you can trust Him in your trials and tribulations. Jesus is the bread of life, and whoever comes to Him will never go hungry. He is the light that shines in the darkness, and if you are weary and burdened, He will give you rest. Come to Him and experience the peace and joy that only He can provide. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. Dear God, thank you for bringing us to the month of December. I ask that you keep our family and loved ones safe this month. Watch over us and cover us with your divine protection. Shower us with good health, blessings, and strength. Remove any worry, fear, stress, and doubt from our hearts. When difficult times come, help us to trust you with all of our hearts and not lean on our own understanding. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer and blessing us. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. I want to end with a prayer for you, Lord, we seek your guidance and blessings as we navigate this path of love and understanding. As we patiently await the divine alignment of hearts, we ask for strength, patience, and the wisdom to recognize the unfolding of this beautiful story. May the realization of love be gentle and profound, touching the deepest parts of our beings. And may the bonds formed be resilient and enduring. As we anticipate the end of this year when expressions of love will be openly shared, we ask for your divine protection and guidance, trusting that all will unfold as it is meant to be. Thank you for your constant presence and support on this journey towards love. My beloved child, Today you radiate with joy and happiness, and you are about to receive grace from kind-hearted souls who will share their own blessings with you. I urge you to proclaim to everyone who strengthens you and loves you deeply. Speak with confidence, and from your lips shall flow words of life and hope. You shall never stray far from me, never lose sight of this sign that I have given you the forgiveness of your sins, made possible by my shed blood, which cleanses you and grants you eternal life. I shall delight in being your father, and you shall revel in the gifts and wonders bestowed upon you. By me your descendants shall be blessed and numerous, like the grains of sand by the sea. Know that I remain the same, the one who loved you and gazed upon you with mercy yesterday, who loves you more with each passing day. Your future rests in my hands, but I require your faith. I implore you not to ignore this message. Do not underestimate this medium through which I speak. I have chosen humble-hearted individuals to bring you my word and proclaim it to the world. These three beautiful and divine words, God is good. I was, am, um, and forever, shall be your dearest love and kindness. I am good, because I am also the author and creator of faith. With my hands, I signaled the creation of the universe, and with my wisdom, I established the boundaries of the stars, the galaxies, and all the elements necessary for your existence, dot you were formed from dust, and one day, your earthly body shall return to dust, while your spirit patiently awaits by my side for the appointed time. I shall transform your dust-made body into a holy, eternal, indestructible one. Everything in your life has a purpose. You are my greatest treasure 
and in my hands. I loved you when you were distant, and I shall continue to love you despite any mistakes. I remain the same yesterday today, and for all eternity, my mind does not waver. I personally sought you when you felt disappointed, and sought an easy way out of your pain. I showed you that life and peace are not behind a false facade. You must persevere through the process, face suffering, and place your faith in my word. Walk without faltering, holding my hand, so you may reach the long-desired freedom and triumph. Reclaim the conviction that you are a person of great worth. I witnessed your tears and wept alongside you as a true friend, so you would feel safe and choose to keep fighting. Because I fight alongside you, I assist you when you ask, and I fight for you when you are weary. My heavenly army stands guard around you when you feel exhausted dot a tea times. You do not even realize the countless things I have saved you from. I will open your eyes to the supernatural world so you can witness my warrior angels fighting fierce battles to protect you. I have saved you from deadly accidents, halted disease at your doorstep, confused the intentions of criminals and thieves, and rebuked the enemy of your soul when it sought to devour you. I reaffirm my love for you, remind you that no matter what happens, you are still under my shelter and love. But with affection, I also ask that you no longer be troubled or filled with fear when problems arise that you told me that you would trust me and not react to what people are saying. Know that I have surrounded you with my arms and no threats or lies from others can harm you. There are levels of faith, maturity and wisdom and you are at the highest where I have placed you. Higher up where you are, disputes and provocations cannot touch you. They seek your reaction, aiming to steal your inner peace. They know that if they succeed, your thoughts will run wild, uncontrollable, and you may harm those in your path. Therefore, I urge you to accept my peace. It is merely a matter of faith, of taking time in silence. Wherever you are, speak my word in your thoughts or aloud. The power of my promises will break your chains and I will remove from you the bad habit of getting nervous and worried about any lies you hear. Even if they were true, you should not lose your peace. When bad news comes, you shall face it with strength and your head held high. I have spoken to your soul and given you the assurance that I will always be with you. Those who attack you believe that no one is protecting you and that their words can harm you but do not believe them. Do not allow their lies to occupy your mind and heart. I will give you the strength to overcome these enemies, and even if you make mistakes, I will always listen with affection to your repentant heart. Believe me in this as well. If you distance yourself from error and those harmful acquaintances, you will truly be happy and highly blessed. Of choice, whom do you want to believe? I have asked you this many times, and I know you are human. But now understand that I am God. You bring the faith, and I possess the power. You may be weak at times, and I wish to assist you always. I have safeguarded your family from dire situations, and will continue to protect them. But I want you and your entire household to seek me. Believe in my word and receive the complete blessing of my holy promises. Speak to them, please, and let them know that I am aware of their lives and have a special plan that must be fulfilled. Tell them not to feel bad or become sad if they think they have lost something, a material possession, a friend, a job, or their plans that fell apart. Repeat these words to them. Everything happens for a reason. Our beloved God is in control. In the end, even things that seem negative will work in our favor. Seek me every day. Give thanks in all circumstances, both good and bad, 
And believe me, when I say this, marvelous miracles will happen when your hearts are filled with praise. Deliver my message to them. Tell them not to worry, that everything will be fine. A time of great blessings is coming for your family, and you dot, you have kept the faith, and you stand strong. I am ready to bless you. You are well prepared to receive all that I have prepared for you. I also want your troubled times to be left behind and for you to cast aside the feeling of being a failure. Let me declare something to you. None of my sons and daughters is a failure, and you will never be one. I love you, I care for you, I prepare you and I correct you. If you fall, you rise, if you make mistakes, you confess, and I forgive you with patience and love. You stand up, shake off the dust, and continue with your faith in my word and your eyes fixed on the goal. My daughters and sons make mistakes, but they persist the humility and ability to acknowledge their faults, receive my forgiveness, and leave behind all feelings of defeat and guilt dot you have never been a failure. The enemy knows how you feel and has taken advantage to steal from you and to harm you. But everything that was stolen from you shall return. I want you to become accustomed to living a life of emotional freedom. Stop blaming yourself for past events and do not punish yourself by denying the opportunity to succeed. I want you to keep growing in your faith and learn to depend more on me. I will instruct you to do things that may seem impossible to you. Understand, my child, that I have chosen you to be a channel of blessing to all those you love. Step into the abundant embrace of my presence that surrounds you like a warm, comforting blanket. Begin with the melody of praise, allowing it to rise until it becomes a symphony of worship. In the cadence of your worship, the glory will unfurl. Stand, dear one. Stand in the glorious light that emanates from my heart. Know this, my cherished one. My plans for you are unwavering, and I have not altered the course set for your life. Picture me standing and waiting, ready to pour out blessings that match the depth of your praise and the fervor of your worship. You're about to witness what others have only dreamed of seeing. The high places of my presence are to be your dwelling, not just a fleeting visitation. Do not settle for occasional glimpses. Embrace the glorious dwelling I have prepared for you. Shake off any hesitation, sweet child. Take control of your emotions, focus your thoughts, and let every fiber of your being magnify praise and worship. In this abandoned heart, you will witness the extraordinary unfold. You are the one chosen and dearly loved. I appoint you as the apple of my eye, drawing you close into my unyielding protection, lavish provision and divine purpose like never before. Hear me, for today is a new dawn and a fresh pathway has unveiled itself before you. Embrace it with anticipation, knowing that this new way has found you. Rejoice, for I am with you every step, and your journey is marked by promises fulfilled and assurances that stand unshakable. You are cherished, guided, and destined for greatness. Trust in this, for I choose you, and in my choosing, you find immeasurable joy and boundless purpose. However, I want you to be cautious about what enters your ears and what your eyes see. I want my word to take precedence. Nourish yourself in it. Immerse yourself in my Holy Spirit, whether by reading, listening, speaking, writing, or singing. Whatever I inspire you to do, do it in spirit and in truth. Learn to manage it. I will bestow great blessings upon you but you must care for them. I will not lift you up so you feel overly important and become conceited. The authority I will grant you, if you want my blessings to multiply, 
must be used with humility. Do not allow gossip or slander against anyone. Never raise your hand or soil your tongue to harm those who esteem, help or provide you with employment through which you earn your bread. Put your effort into working, serving and being a blessing to those around you, your family and to others. I have chosen you to bear fruit, to go where I send you, to let prosperity and blessing flow in your household. I have come to speak to you as a friend. If you want to see a change in your life, you must decide to obey me and walk with me. Tell me that you will. You are entering a new stage, and if you want, you will succeed. I have chosen you to be a warrior, to bring your family forward, to lead you from victory to victory, to for my presence to accompany you in all your triumphs, from glory to glory through your praise. My dear child, I love you, champion of champions. I will bless you. I did not make a mistake when I chose you. I know what I'm doing because I want you to understand how much I love you. Together with my servants, you shall return to this earth to confront the armies of darkness. Prepare yourself, for one day you shall reign alongside me. But until that day comes, never cease to pray. Seek me relentlessly. I desire your commitment to fulfill my will. Tell me now, in your own words, that you will always love me. Amen. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.